Okay, let's talk about how to make your voice sound like an epic movie trailer voice. Are you ready for this, Isabella? Oh, she's I've cut her off. <laughs> there she is. Right, let's let's do this. Let's sound like an epic movie trailer voice. First of all, you have to lower your voice. In a world. In a world. Can you do that? In a world. 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 In okay. A world. Uh and let's start recording into our audio editor. So here I'm just gonna start a brand new file and say in a world where jingles sound awesome and Mike always plays the correct jingle, this is a movie coming out in the summer. Is that cool? I like that. All right, then. So I'm going to take this audio, play it back to you. In a world where jingles sound awesome. And I'm going to just top and tail it. And I'm actually going to pop it in the multi-track. This might be the easiest way to show you some of the stuff that I would use to make a movie trailer voiceover. So let's go to no template here. And we'll drop this in like so. Maybe make it a little bit louder. And I'm going to run a few effects and then show you what they all do. So uh, first of all, I will add uh, filter and EQ. We'll add some parametric equalizer. And then we're going to add some dynamics. And all of this will become clear as to what it's doing. And then we're going to add time and pitch, pitch shifter. And then we're going to add a final little bit of modulation with the chorus. I'll switch them all off and go through in order. Now, I'm going to do this really quickly because I want this to be a quick tutorial that you can follow at home and get things sounding good. Now, first of all, did you know there is a cheat on the parametric equalizer? Yes, you could go through doing what I tell you to do in other videos, like uh, rolling off the highs, in a, uh, uh, rolling off the lows, sorry, enhancing the highs, and doing a little bit around here with a mid-range of notching frequencies. Or there's a very nice preset called Vocal Enhancer, which works well on most voices. There's a hack for you, Isabella. Did you know that? The yep. Vocal Enhancer preset on uh, parametric equalizer. It'll work very well for this. In a world. And then. In a world. Definitely an increase in the high end there. That's what we want to achieve. But you can't hear much of a difference till you go to the dynamics effect, which is next in the queue. And by the way, these these all have to go in order, okay? You have to do these in order to make this movie trailer voice. You can't do the pitching or the chorus first. You have to do the EQ, the dynamics, the pitch, and then the chorus. So next onto dynamics, I'll set it to default. We're just going to switch on a compressor and a limiter. And we are going to very similarly, I'm not going to worry about gating. If you've got noise, background noise problems, other videos on that. For the moment, I'm just going to make this fatter by increasing the ratio. Now, it's going to be a movie trailer voice, so I'm going to put it 5 to 1, quite a harsh compression ratio, and probably move the threshold down a bit so we really kick in. Let's play it back. In a world. Okay, can you see that compressor kicking in? So now it's made it quieter, so I have to push the makeup gain up till I hit the limiter, and I'm going to set the limiter at minus 3 just to give a bit of headway. In a world where jingles sound awesome. Okay. In a world where jingles sound awesome. Awesome. Now, can you hear that parametric EQ working? You probably can. In a world where jingles sound awesome. And then with the EQ. In a world where jingles sound awesome. Now, what that uh, parametric EQ is doing, something I'm not usually a fan of, is it's boosting the lows around 110 hertz, which really brings in that bass. So a very good preset to remember if you're doing movie trailer style stuff or even sometimes radio imaging stuff. Uh, then we pitch shift now ever so slightly down. Because if you go too nuts, it's just going to sound insanely silly. Uh, so we'll go down one semitone and see how that sounds. In a world where jingles sound awesome. Now that's probably too much. And one thing, I do not know why the pitch shifter effect does this in audition, but it kind of makes the audio stereo as well, which is a nice little bonus. Don't know why it does that, but it's cool. Now I'm going to move it down by sense, which is a kind of finer version of semitones. In a world where jingles sound awesome. In a world where jingles sound awesome. I'm going to go down by minus 17 cents, I think. High pre precision is definitely appreciated. And then finally, to round this off, I'll switch on the chorus. And we'll just go to something like a... Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, acoustic duet is usually a good one. In a world where jingles sound awesome. Okay, and remember we started with... In a world where jingles sound awesome. Awesome. And now we've got in a world where jingles sound awesome. What do you think, Is? I think this is really good, but I have a question to you, may I? Go on. So why that specific order of effects? How did you come up with that? Right, first of all, you've got to EQ to get your sound settings right. And then you've got to add the compression to flatten out any peaks the EQ may have introduced. 
Hitching down and any enhancement effects should be done after the basics and chorus finally should be done last, otherwise your compressor will really interfere with the chorus. So that, in a nutshell, is exactly how you do that and how you make a movie trailer voice. You are